Hello everybody, this is Hobbs back here with you, and I'm going to be introducing a new segment. It's still going to be listed as a, under my horror um, reviews, uh, horror cult exploitation reviews playlist, but I'm going to be reviewing all 50 of these horror classic films. Um, and then you'll just have to see what else I'll be doing. Just follow, pay attention to the channel. There's a lot of stuff coming. I'm coming back. Starting to feel better. And uh, just going to start bringing the content back. Just wait. It's going to happen. I've had, I had a hard October, guys. A really tough October. But anyways, uh, with that being said, I did watch the first film. I'm going to go in direct order. And the first film that we watched is The Amazing Mr. X. Now, most of you might be wondering, what happens if I've already reviewed a film? Well, I will skip that one and uh, put the link to that video for the prior one coming. So, for example, if I review a movie and there was one that was before it that I'd already reviewed, I'll put the link in the description. But Amazing Mr. X is number one. It's the first one. From this horror classic set, and uh, let's talk about this film as it really showed me a lot. So we follow Christine, played by Lynn Barr, and her sister Janet, and her boyfriend Martin. Now Christine has recently over the last two years, lost her husband to a deadly car explosion. So she's trying to get back on the dating scene. And she's been dating Martin, and he's been kind of pacing her a little bit, kind of pressing her into getting married again. And her sister's kind of for it because she likes Martin. Martin Abbott, to be more specifically, but she's not really wanting anything to do with that situation because she's still trying to get over her ex. And she stumbles upon a gentleman on the road well more like a dirt road as she's walking on the beach and she discovers this gentleman and he's calling out for her basically and it's kind of strange and his name is Alexis and he's calling out for her trying to get her attention so finally they meet and he's uh, walking along it's kind of a dark creepy, mythical-looking character, but in the end, he ends up looking human when she sees him finally coming across the beach. He happens to walk around, and there's, like, this crow or this raven that, that ends up being around all the time, and this makes this really funny cackle, like... <laughs> like <laughs> it's a really weird-looking fucking cackle that it makes. And, uh... <laughs> But anyways, he tells her that your husband can contact you still. And that if you want to speak to your husband, I know any and all things about your husband. So if you want to know more, then follow me and get to know me. So she gets freaked out a little bit, but she ends up becoming keen to the idea of meeting up with him. Now Turambe, or Turambe, plays uh, Alexis. And he's a really good looking guy. You can tell all the ladies love him. And he kind of has a voice kind of like Vincent Price. And uh, it's crazy how much he sounds like Vincent Price, to be honest with you. And then Carol Landis was supposed to play Christine in the film. Sadly, she was an up and coming actress who ended up uh, unfortunately committing suicide two days before the shoot of the film. Uh, she suffered severe depression due to financial issues and uh, due to not being able to have kids and things. And she was doing a ton of work, but she died at the, the young age of 29. But anyway, so Christine decides to finally get a hold of Alexis and she's starting to hear things about her husband and introduces him to her sister. Her sister starts to become fond of Alexis as well, kind of falling for him. And then they're starting to really, really get down into this. Meanwhile, her boyfriend, Martin, is like, this guy's full of crap. Like, you you got to stay away from him, you know? And um, 
then this big plot twist happens, and I can't really get much into the film. Can't go any farther, folks, about the amazing Mr. X, because I don't want to spoil the magic of the amazing Mr. X. I just want you guys to go out and watch it for yourselves. Now, this film, to me, was a great start to this segment. Um, this movie was fun. Like I said, it gets a 6.4 on IMDb. It came out in 1948. It's an hour and 18 minutes long. Very much worth your time. The twist ending, kind of predictable, but kind of not. There are some stop motion effects in the film that you would be surprised to see from 1948. Like there's like a floating robe floating hands, like things that i just never seen. Then again, I haven't watched a lot, a whole lot of movies from the 40s. But this movie was a blast. I'm really am looking forward to reviewing some of these. But The Amazing Mr. X is going to get a 4 out of 5 from Hobbs on the Bogland scale. And next up is The Ape. I think I've reviewed The Ape. But if not, I'll double check. And uh, anyways, guys... Let me know if you have seen Amazing Mr. X. I believe it's also known as the, uh, I believe it's called The Illusionist, I believe. But the, the, the Illusionist, I'm not entirely sure, but, um, yeah, anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and, uh, catch up with you later. Peace. Welcome, welcome to the house on the A6 block I'm just chillin' on the porch in my chair I rock I'm your host Jimmy Biggs with the ghoulish grip The only light outside is the full moon grip Welcome, welcome to a world mixed with evil and good If you ain't plan on staying, then you listen to school This ain't a nightmare The figment of imagination Step inside and the house will awaken Skeleton, you're ready for the animal